This is a video representation of the chair drill and I'm going to use um, Joshua and I'm going to use Phillips Idowu and Alicia as well and you see um, Josh and Lisi, um, this is Josh and that's Lisi and um, we're going to use them as a comparison to see how the chair drill actually mimics that of an actual um, elite level athlete. Um, there are various landing methods that are used, um, however, we can use, um, you know, whatever ones we want, but whether it's a slide in, pop out, or whatever. The reason why I teach the chair drill is sometimes at, sometimes coaches will teach the landing with the high chest, and I think that's a mistake. Um, and that's the reason behind that is because of uh, certain um, physics properties and Newton's laws, particularly having to deal with action versus reaction. So we start off with putting the athlete on the edge of a chair, as you can see here. And uh, the chair is situated in such a way that sometimes we'll use it on regular ground or on the grass or raw floor or whatever. The athlete will not, will not be leaving the chair for the sake of doing this drill. We may put them at a pit. Um, if we do that, we put the pit here and then we'll put the dirt there. And we can actually put the chair completely in the dirt if you want and have the athlete literally scoop their butts forward into the dirt after doing the exercise. That's fine, too. We want to have the athlete start off with their arms completely extended and the elbows locked directly over their heads. We want the chest high at this point because there will be a point in the jump um, where the chest will be high and the arms will be extended. Then we'll have the athlete pull the legs up while sweeping the chest down into the front. It's inc incredibly important to understand that action reaction principle it's just like in hurdling if we want the thigh to come up while the athlete goes over the hurdles the chest must swing down do not teach your athletes to leave the chest up if the athlete leaves the chest up the legs have to drop down i can't stress it enough so as they go down forwards the thighs will come up the arms are then swung down past the legs. It's important to remember that. The heels are out, the toes are up. The heels cut the sand while the toes are up. As you can see right here with Josh and Lisi uh, both swing down and forward. Now Josh does a little bit better job than Lisi. She's a little apprehensive about going forward. And she tends to maintain a bit more of an erect torso. As you can see Josh here the arms are swung down really low, down beneath the legs. The torso goes forwards. That's exactly the way, the way we want to practice it. As you swing down and forwards, once again, we want to push forwards with the, um, the heels, not the toes. Um, the athlete then preserves the jump by then bringing the arms out and around. It's important to remember we don't want to swing the arms back forward below the hips because then the, the hands will then cut the sand. Now we'll look at Philip Sidowo actually doing the same thing. And you see him getting into the chair position, which is similar to what you see the kids doing here. Then you see them do the arm sweep into that position. The chest goes well forward, as you can see here. And then, of course, you see the arms swing down and back, nice and low as you can see here. The heels cut the sand, as you can see there. The knees will then collapse forwards, which we can also practice that. And then the arms are going to be swung outward. Never down, always out and around. We tell the kids to come up and do like a hug, as you can see here. That will help preserve the jump. In this case, um, Idowu does kind of a twisting, um, we call that kind of like a pop-out movement. We always take one step forwards, and then we can walk out of the pit. And you can see here that the mark that's left in the sand is done by his heels and not by his butt. Now we can do a butt in landing, that is fine, as long as the mark is equal or further than your heels. You can slide in on your side or on your back or whatever, but again, it must be equal or further than the mark made by your heels. You will see the marks 
and the chair drill are almost exactly the same.